What's going on guys? Uh, Dan here, DD Speed Shop, and today's a little something new. Well, not new, I guess it's more of the same, but we're in the other garage. Uh, temporary lighting is up. We got temporary heater over there. Uh, there's more tools, and it's echoey in here, so it's, uh, it's like a rock concert. Anyways, we're gonna do three things today, three birds stoned at once. Um, a couple, well, it was a couple weeks ago at this point now, but uh, Ed Bully ended up in Wiki, he was doing a do a video up to show what you would do if you won or bought his Lamborghini. Uh, him and Sway are doing some sort of kind of giveaway type thing. Well, I thought, what better way to show what I would do with a Lamborghini than do it to a 57 Chevy first. So we have a snow plow here. Last year we put the snow plow on my 55 uh, Gasser, and that thing's in storage right now. It was a bit of a hassle with the big block and the tunnel around and all that, but we got this fine 57 Chevy fuel injected. We got Four winter tires studded the whole way around. This thing, I've been driving the crap out of this thing actually lately, and it does really well. So there's no it has a heater. It's uh, got everything except for a passenger side door handle for Danny. Um, so we're gonna do that real quick. Danny's gonna go do some shopping. We'll like put a snow plow on a 57 Chevy, like you do. And then after that, we gotta get a Christmas tree, and we'll probably take this just strapped to the roof. So it'll be quite an uh, operation. And I feel like we could just like, with the like digital editing, I don't know if I can do it, but like it'd be like a Lamborghini doing the same thing. It'd be pretty sweet. A few more cylinders. Plus, uh, Danny's Kia is really, it's getting a few miles on it. And uh, I mean, I think Lamborghini and Kia are the same company, anyways. I mean, it's foreign. So, uh, she could probably use a Lamborghini to, uh, to drive around. So, anyways, that's what we're going to do today. So, I guess we'll see how it goes. It should be a good one. Let's get after it. So there is my creation. Look at that. We got it done pretty quick. Snow hasn't even melted off yet. So it's a very simple setup. It has a bracket, runs across the bottom. I had to pull the bumper off. Oh, I gotta change the license plate. Anyway, um, a bracket runs across. Believe it or not, I had this plow on my uh, 95 Chevy half ton and it bolts right into a Tri-5 Chevy. Man, Chevy don't change nothing. So I drilled two holes on each side, bolted up some big washers, put it on. The issue we run into, seeing as it's based for a truck, the ground clearance, we got maybe eight inches. So I noticed uh, last year in the other car, it didn't have small tires, be bouncing, it'd be, eh, it'd be dragging a little bit, but it was plowing, self-plowing. So there we go, I gotta clean up a little bit. I'll show you how it works real quick. Danny gets back. I got a little switch inside the car. I actually bought a little, uh, adapter for ATV winch and made it all work uh, years ago. Still works great, so there we go. I mean, honestly it's cooler than Lamborghini, but uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? All right, we'll be back when Danny's here and we'll uh, start giving her. Okay, so car's done, Danny's holding the camera. We're going to get a Christmas tree, but we'll show the plow work real quick. I did a bunch of upgrades to this thing. I put a door handle on your side. <gasps> Works pretty good. I put an ignition switch in it, so it actually works. You can get in and out, like an inside door handle. But uh, the winch was, it would go down okay, but upwards was a little on. This one's sitting a while. But, let's see what Taking too much power. Well, what the deal is here? Where's the hammer? That was embarrassing. I'll edit all this out. No, you won't. What the heck happened? I did nothing to it. You mentioned 
a brand new well, door handle, sir. We ran out of time there, but <coughs> she works, works me in. So we're off to get a Christmas tree now, just down the road, which is nice. And uh, anyway, this video, so it's supposed to be out like a few days ago, there's a bit of a deadline there, but we're in Canadian time. So I feel like we can be two, three, four, maybe even a week late if we have to be. It's like, uh, it's like how our money is only 75% as good as the American money. We, we have like more time. So we'll get it. Unfortunately, you know what's funny is like, we were the biggest Lamborghini. Can you imagine like that's stuff I would do, just like vice grip the doors so they work and <laughs> it would be pretty good. I was thinking we could, uh, like everybody like LS swaps everything and all that. We put like a small block Chevy or something in it. That'd be kind of cool, eh? Yeah. Like, D-Tech. Anyway, we'll uh, get to this uh, tree place and we'll uh, strap her down. Look at that, folks. The queen has her tree this year. Also accidentally picked the most expensive one. That was, of course, $35 a tree. <laughs> and that one cost $80? <laughs> like, what the? How did that even happen? It's like five feet tall. This is like cold Griswold. Love it. We should go get some eggnog later. Yeah. Or while we're out, we might as well go get some. Hold on, I give him a quick once over. Being the good son I am. This thing really has a spinning fire problem, too. We're trying to get the parking was a little on the icy side. Yes. <laughs> Alright, we'll get strapped down and get on the road. Well, I'm like, this is what it would have been. What do you mean? Back in the 60s. Yeah, I might have put a blanket down or something like that. Well, back when it was pristine, sure. What are you saying? It's nice, I treat it good. You want the ratchet strap on your side or mine? Yours. Well, that's embarrassing for you. Some cowboy you are. <laughs> I'm not a cowboy, I'm a hot rodder and Christmas tree aficionado. Tell me. Oh yeah, I just have to go nowhere. <laughs> we have one more click for safety. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we made the merge and this strap is right in the way. So anyways, uh, we'll plot, we'll show how this thing actually works, a little bit of plowing. I feel like there's going to be a little bit of spin of tires merge, so sorry about your brand new driveway and the studded tires. Let's start plowing. Driveway's so long and so hazardous.
there you have it. This thing got this thing got a lot of attention. People really liked it. Cruising around, we're getting thumbs up and everything. So maybe we'll do another video of actually once it snows a little bit more, we can actually get out there and start plowing the streets and get the thumbs up for everybody. They like the Christmas tree on the top. Actually, we were at Danny's stop by the uh, to get a bottle of booze for her eggnog, and lay beside us, open the door direct into the the car. Okay, what are you gonna do? So that's why you can't have nice painted stuff. Anyways, that's where we're gonna leave it for now. So yeah, if we get a Lamborghini, that's what we do with it. Drive around, Christmas trees, whatever we gotta do, put a plow on it, and make cool revving noises. So that's it for this one. Uh, I'll put this video right away. And we'll see you the live stream tonight. And uh, yeah, I don't know, Christmas season. Have a good one, guys.